Hey guys, Mike Wagan here, and in this video, we will be discussing the different Shopify payment gateways that are available here in the Philippines. So, dito sa Philippines, we have a couple of available payment gateway options um, that are already integrated with Shopify. I do have an article here on my blog, mikewagan.com, pero uh, to simplify things, uh, we'll just go through the different companies that I've worked with and I've tried before. So first one, Paynamix. So kung gusto niyo mag-inquire sa kanila, just go to paynamix.com. And so far, based on my experience, magandang service ang uh, binibigay ng Paynamix. And they have a lot of payment options available. So they can process credit cards and also other uh, payment providers like 7-Eleven, um, bank deposits, Gcash, Paymaya, um, Coins.ph, and other banks, BDO, BPI, PNB, and then uh, yun, yung, um, uh, all the major credit cards. <coughs> and they are trusted by some of the big brands here in the Philippines, Starbucks, SM, Lazada, and AirAsia. So with Paynamics, to integrate with Paynamics and Shopify, uh, kailangan yung mag-create ng uh, account sa kanila. So you have to go to their website and contact their sales uh, representative. And if ever magko-consult kayo sa kanila, just uh, you can mention me, Mike Wagan, na I referred you to them or you saw th this video from uh, my YouTube channel. And uh, ayun, uh, ma-assist nila kayo ng mabuti. <clears throat> Again, based on my experience, I highly recommend them um, from small to big enterprises. Very good ang customer service nila. And... Uh, even the CEO, I was able to talk with her and sobrang accommodating nila with any inquiries that we have. One thing to note also, ang nakikita ko lang na onting drawback dito is kailangan nyo ng contract with them. So it's gonna be a long-term contract. And then, kapag credit card processing naman, kailangan nyo rin ng ka-tie-up na bank like BDO, BPI, or any major banks here in the Philippines. So, kailangan meron pa rin kayong account with any of the banks that you choose. And then, sila na yung bahala mag-integrate ng payment gateway nila sa inyong bank account para doon pumasok yung mga payments. Pero so far, um, based on uh, feedback from my clients, uh, wala naman sila nagiging problema with Paynamix. Second one we will check is Paymaya. So, sa Paymaya, madali rin silang integrate with Shopify. They already have a plugin available. So, kung pupunta kayo sa, sa payment options ng Shopify settings nyo, you can already choose Paymaya as a payment option. Pero, kailangan nyo pa rin mag-create ng uh, business or enterprise account. <coughs> Business or enterprise account with them. So with Paymaya, punta lang din kay sa website nila. So dito sa URL enterprise that paymaya.com slash solutions slash plugins slash Shopify. Meron na silang steps na pwede yung sundin on how to set up your Paymaya account. So the primary step is actually to register for a Paymaya Manager 2.0 account. So to get started, um, you have to click here and uh, sign up with them or uh, create a contract with them. Again, for small businesses, uh, this might be a uh, big hassle. Pero if you're looking forward to growing your business, maganda makipag-tie up sa mga payment gateways na available here in the Philippines. Uh, like Paymaya. Paymaya kasi medyo malaking company rin siya. They are, I think, under sila ng Smart or PLDT. So the backup of their companies pretty big and yung tiwala ninyo sa Paymaya is nandun din since malalaking companies din ang gumagamit ng Paymaya. So one major thing with Paymaya, they can accept credit and debit cards. Pero yung other options like 7-Eleven payments, Banknet, or uh, through money remittance like M. Luwilier, Cebuana Luwilier, hindi siya available with Paymaya. Unlike with Paynamix. So, with Paynamix, magiging available yung options nyo for other payment options, yung mga pwedeng i-cash, like 7-Eleven, or sa mga money remittance, or kahit sa bills payment ng SM, available sa kanila. 
So you have to check their site sa Paynamics to see all the available payment options that they can offer. So ang third option natin for payment gateways here in the Philippines that integrate with Shopify is Paymongo. <clears throat> so this one, um, based on the information that I got previously, Paymongo is backed up by some of the companies under PayPal. And uh, from the reviews that I've heard with other e-commerce companies, madaling mag-setup ng account with Paymongo. So with Paymongo, marami rin siyang options for payment, similar with Paynamix. So they can um, process credit or debit cards. They even have GrabPay. They can also process payments from 7-Eleven or money remittances, also GCash and Coins.ph. And it's easy to set up an account. You can simply sign up here on their online form or even talk to their uh, customer service representatives. So from the feedback also from other companies that use Paymongo, uh, one of advantage that they have is also they don't ask for uh, setup or one-time or monthly fees. But usually with these kinds of payment gateways, they charge you based on per transaction or per percentage. So depende na lang dun sa account manager nyo on these companies kung paano yung setup ng uh, payment ninyo sa kanila. Is it gonna be percentage or fixed amount per order or per transaction. And then for COD option, one of the options here in the Philippines is Payo or Payo. So Payo is the simple solution for cash and delivery for the Philippines. So magandang system din siya for uh, Shopify owners kasi um, built-in na rin yung app nila. Madali na siyang gamitin. Kailangan nyo lang din mag-sign up sa kanila and then uh, set it up from your Shopify apps. So their main goal is to simplify setting it up and para mapabilis rin sa negosyo nyo na ma-set up itong uh, cash on delivery. Since ito yung isa sa mga big um, uh, issues right now with Shopify, wala siyang default na payment gateways na available yung cash on delivery. Pero ngayon, na-create na nga itong payo.asia. So, pinadali na nila yung pag-process ng cash and delivery payments. So, when you check their website, sobrang kompleto niya naman ng details on how to set up your account and how to set up the app. So, you just go to payo.asia slash shopify-cod-app. Just click this um, link at the top. Apart from getting uh, COD payments, they also allow you to track the order and delivery from the moment it leaves your warehouse until the cash is safely secured into your account. So, sa Payo, parang naka-integrate na rin siya sa mga shipping companies. So, they have 10 couriers and automatically selects the courier with the highest success rate to make sure that the item will reach its destination. Payo will only ask for payments per successful delivery. And you will be given access to an online dashboard with a shipment status tracker. So, ayun, with Payo, naka-integrate na rin siya sa mga shipping companies. So, hindi nyo na kailangan maghanap ng uh, or mag-book manually per order. Isang dashboard na lang ang kailangan ninyo, which is yung dashboard ng Payo. So, you can check out their website for more details. And then... The next payment option that we have for the Philippines is Paytabs. So with Paytabs, it's a bigger company than uh, Paynamix or Paymongo since this is more of a international payment gateway. Pero available din sila here in the Philippines. So when you sign up, it's free and then may makakausap din kayo na account manager after nyo mag-sign up so that you can negotiate your your rates with per order. So, kung magkano yung kailangan yung bayaran sa kanila, kakalkulate din yun or you can negotiate it with their um, sales representative. So, integrated na rin siya with Shopify and then available din siya with other e-commerce apps. And, ang isang maganda rin sa kanya is they can accept multiple currencies. So, not just in the Philippines, available din sila internationally. And then, they can, yeah, 
they can process your the major credit card companies again ang disadvantage nito is um credit or debit cards lang ang pwedeng gamitin unlike with Paymongo and Paynamix pwede yung mga over the counter transactions and other payment options na available dito like GCash or Paymaya another company na available here in the Philippines is to check out so with to check out based on my experience also with other companies madali naman mag sign up with to check out they're also a international company an international company and well established na rin sila with the e-commerce platforms so not just on Shopify madali rin sila integrate with other platforms and available sila na integrate with Shopify Philippines um, websites or businesses. So I've tried it out previously. Maganda naman yung experience namin with to check out. Madali mag-withdraw and madali rin mag-process uh, ng payments. One thing to note then is that they are not or wala silang office dito sa Philippines. They are more of a international company that can process Philippine payments similar with PayPal which we can talk about later pero in terms of setting it up for your Shopify business madali mag-process din ang to check out so wala silang nire-require na contract or any bank account details unlike with Paynamix or Paymongo pero one thing din na kailangan yung malaman with to check out is they have higher fees than local companies here in the Philippines since international sila. Medyo mas mataas yung rates nila. So if you're looking to optimize your bottom line, so that's one thing to consider. Na magkakaroon sila ng cut din sa inyong profits. Although lahat naman ng uh, companies na payment gateway companies, they will take a cut pero medyo malaki lang din si to check out when they process your credit card transactions, credit card or debit card. Pero ang advantage niya lang is madali nga siyang iset up. So the the other payment options that we have is PayPal. So PayPal, sobrang sikat niya. Very popular siya sa mga merchants. Since with Shopify, madali siyang iset up. So magkikrate ka lang ng account and then you go to your checkout settings and then sign in with your details. Naka-integrate na agad yung PayPal as your payment option. Wala na silang hinihinging requirements at the start. No long-term contracts. Ang pinaka-main positive or pinaka-main selling point talaga nila is the ease of setting up your payment with Shopify. Sobrang dali niya. Sobrang bilis. But the drawback also is medyo mas malaki yung cut nila sa profits ninyo. Malaki yung percentage. Around 2%, 5%, 10%. Even sometimes I can see 20%, but you can double check it on your own. Pero that's based on my experience. Since meron silang transaction fees, and then pag mag-withdraw din kayo, meron din silang charges for that. Ang big advantage din ni PayPal is the security of your online transactions. Since meron silang very robust na pag-analyze ng mga fraudulent transactions, Pwede pwede nyo ma-withdraw or ma-block agad yung mga scammers na pumapasok or nag enter with their PayPal details. Pero sometimes, nagkakaroon din ng issue yung ibang merchants with that kind of security dahil nga sobrang higpit nila. Kahit yung transactions na pumasok na sa'yo ay pwede ring magkaroon ng refund sa customer. Kahit na process mo na yung order nila. So yun yung isang drawback din ng PayPal is meron siyang very good buyer protection pero ang problem is inaabuso ito ng mga customers minsan na nagte-take advantage ng system and once na naget get nila yung order, they can process a refund through the PayPal and minsan mahirap na itong i-counter at medyo masakit-sakit din sa ulo. Lalo na sa business owner na kailangan niya pang mag-go through the process of refunding and claiming it also na na-process mo na yung order. Kasi sasabihin lang ni buyer na hindi niya na-receive yung product, na walang proof na na-receive niya yung product, medyo may risk din doon for the seller. 
So based on my experience, PayPal is uh, should be the list of your considerations. But if you really want to get started right away, PayPal is a good option. Yun lang, you just have to know the risks that PayPal has for especially for the business owner. So what can I recommend based on this um, payment options? Uh, for me, walang perfect na payment option available here in the Philippines. Lahat sila merong positives and negatives. So it's just gonna be your own decision. Pero based on my experience, to check out is good. Paynamics is very good. Paymaya is good also. Pero limited lang din yung payment options with the credit card only and Paymaya payments only. With Paymongo, it's 50-50. Uh, I have heard good reviews and also not so good reviews. Payo is good also. And Paytabs is okay. So with PayPal, it's gonna be 50-50 if you will consider it. So that's it guys. I hope this video helps you with deciding on your Shopify payment gateway. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. If this video has helped you, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you and God bless.